Hello, hi, how are you? I am back again and today I want to talk about the three best perfumes, in my opinion, from Jo Malone for the winter months. So as you probably know already, I am a huge fan of Jo Malone. I love them, I think they are amazing. My top five would probably be Red Roses, Poppy and Barley, Pomegranate Noir, Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, Blackberry and Bay, Wild Fig and Cassis, which has just come back. If you want to know more about that, you can, you can watch my archive collection video, I think it is. It's in there. But yeah, today I want to kind of do a different video, which is all about the best fragrances for the winter months. Because obviously in the summer, we like very like uplifting, fresh, floral, fruity, like an uplifting and happy and fun perfumes. But in the winter, I think we all kind of dial it back. We have something softer, darker, deeper, richer, more kind of like, more about textures, more about like the velvets and the suede and the leathers and the incense, and more about just a creating a mood rather than creating sunshine. We wanna just sink into the winter months. So today I'm going to talk about my three favorite and what I think are the three best Jo Malone perfumes for the winter months. So I think the first one I'm going to go for is one that I rarely talk about. It is Myrrh and Tonka. Now, I love this one because, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's rich and deep and dark and smoky, but it's also got like a sweetness to it, which is really like lovely and pleasant and fun. And it's also a great one if you want to mix. Like this one is great with red roses. I think you could also add it to something like Blackberry and Bay to kind of make that a little bit deeper and darker and richer. And it's just a lovely mixer. It's great with poppy and barley as well, which is also gorgeous. But it's a great mixer. It's really deep and dark and heavy and rich and gorgeous. Also, myrrh and tonka contains notes of lavender, myrrh and tonka. It's 122 for a 100 ml bottle. This is obviously the 50 ml bottle, which is a bit smaller. I think this is more like 68 pounds. I might have that wrong. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I love this one because it's deep and dark and rich and smoky and incense -y and it's got this hint of sweetness which is really lovely and kind of like it's quite a playful incense -y fragrance which is quite rare like you normally find quite serious incense fragrances but this one's definitely a bit more playful it's a little bit more youthful without being like sweet and sugary and too much do you know what I mean like it's not insipid it's just got a hint of playfulness with it which is really fun and really uplifting but also quite like moody and mysterious and sultry and lovely i love this one it's great and like i said it's a great mixer too the next one i want to go for is an old classic it's pomegranate noir i never i never tire of this one. Oh, i love it it's gorgeous this is actually my boyfriend's bottle but i've kind of claimed it as my own i just love it Anyway, this one contains notes of pomegranate, lily, galackwood. I never know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's gorgeous. This one is 98 pounds for 100 mils. It's just, it's a classic Jo Malone. It's quite a unisex scent. It's kind of dark and woodsy, but also quite fruity and cassisi. And it's just got this wonderful kind of cozy log fire feel with also kind of like a hint of like fruit pie cooking in the oven. Do you know what I mean? Like it's lovely, it's quite unisex, which I really love about it. So the final one I want to chat about is possibly one of my favorite ever Jo Malone perfumes. It's the one that I'm really feeling at the moment. It is Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love this one. It contains notes of cardamom, black orchid and incense. And it's 122 pounds for a 100 ml bottle. But much like the Myrrh and Tonka, you can also buy in a 50ml bottle. You can also buy it as a body oil as well. And I love the body oil. The body oil is gorgeous. The body oil is so rich and potent. You can actually get away with it as a perfume oil if you don't want to buy the full size bottle of perfume. I think the thing I love about Dark Amber and Ginger Lily is it's one of the most long lasting, one of the most rich, one of the most potent. I think one of the most like fabulously out there Jo Malone perfumes. I don't think it's for the faint of heart. I think it's really like if you want to just smell incredibly beautiful and rich and opulent, this is the one. It's so pretty. I love it because it's kind of like, it's really addictive. It's kind of got this sweetness. It's kind of got this playfulness. It's kind of got this like night blooming feel, but it's also quite like sensuous and mysterious and kind of just really special and lovely. And when I think of Jo Malone, this is one of the ones that really comes to my head and it's one that I never get bored of. 
I love it as well because it's so long lasting, it's so potent and like I can smell this in the street sometimes and I'm like, who's wearing dark amber and ginger lily? Because I love it so much. I think it's incredible. I love this one. I think it's also a bit of a dark horse of the Joe Malone collection. Like people don't give this one as much credit as they should because it's honestly a dream. Anyway, that is my three best. Joe Malone perfumes for the winter months. We've got Pomegranate Noir, we've got Marin Tonka, and we've got Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I love them all. I don't know which one I would choose if I had to choose between them. Possibly Dark Amber and Ginger Lily because I absolutely adore it. But then I don't think I could handle not owning a bottle of Pomegranate Noir. And as for the Marin Tonka, I love it and I love to combine this one. I think it's gorgeous with red roses. It really goes well with a lot of my favorites. But anyway, that is my video. I hope that's of help. I hope you like Joe Malone as much as I do. I've got loads of Joe Malone videos. So if you do want to have a watch, please do. And if you have any thoughts on Joe Malone, like let me know, tell me, I want to have a chat. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. See you very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>